Hey, uh, Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. You gotta give him a ring, man. Set up the deal, you know? Where are you now? You okay, Leo? You sound kinda different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. Hey, Tommy, it's Sonny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. Well, you ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worried, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. Hola, is this Mr. Versetti? Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat, huh? Okay? Good day, senor. Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick on he said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Get to the payphone in Vice Point. <laughs> Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cortez. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? Yo, Tommy, it's Lance. Yeah? Oh, nice to hear from you, Lance. Come on, man, be cool, be cool. What I'm in the middle of something. What do you want? Nothing. Just to say, you know, look, Tommy, we can do this thing, you and me, no problem. You know what I mean? We're going to have to do it, because otherwise we're going to be dead, Lance. We're in too far now. But thanks for the call. I'll speak to you later. Hey, Leo, I got some work for you. This ain't Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that, prick? You kill Leo? You must have big on it. Wanna work for me? Come by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. <laughs> Want to help join us? Oh, I might have a little result for you, but I need to speak to you in person. I'm enjoying a little arm and arm at the Club Malibu. I reckon you're going to owe me a favor or two out of this sunshine. I'll see you later. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez. Look, the French are giving me all kinds of trouble, amigo. Them hypocrites. They spend a hundred years stealing from poor countries, and they call me a thief. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to need your help as soon as possible, amigo. So please hurry. Huh? Tommy, I need you, all right? I hate the damn French. Tommy, son, have I got a surprise for you? I'm down at recording studios with some major artists. Why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. Tommy, remember me? Hello, Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy, because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. Howdy, son. Just thought I'd ring you up and give you some advice. Hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying is to keep your eyes open, and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. Get to the payphone at the airport terminal. Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me any time. Tommy! I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. You hear me? 
Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. Tommy, it's me, Lance. Keep your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got no time to talk. I ain't interested in what you got to say. And why should I be? You don't care about me, do you? You got to look after me a bit better. Give me a spare slice, you know? Hey, Tommy, man. Look, hey, I'm sorry. It's just that people patronize me all my life. Treat me like a little kid. My brother would do that. Please, man, don't do that. I got to go. All right, Tommy, it's Paul. I just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taking offense to you acting like the big guy all of a sudden, giving it a big shot, saying, well, don't say I never warned you or nothing. Boasting is a mugs game, son. Anyway, I heard there's some fire been put on your head and someone's gonna have a crack at you, so watch yourself. And remember me, mate. How you doing, mate? It's Paolo again. Look, Tommy, I forgot to mention, we're gonna need some extra muscle for the concert. A bit of security. There's a biker gang led by Mitch Baker. It would be great publicity. Very rock and roll, baby. Sort this out for me, and I'll get you some backstage passes for the gig, all right? Hey, it's Mitch. You did good, Tommy. It's good to have the old girl back. You tell Kent Paul, he'll get his security for the gig. You have my word on that. Now keep yourself out of trouble. Hello, Tommy? Yeah. It's Baker. Just wanted to say I really enjoyed the show. Me and the boys want to thank you and remind you, you got our respect. Good day. Keep riding hard, son. Tommy. Sonny. Obviously, you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gut? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. Tommy. Paolo here, true pastor amigo. What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I can get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel I've done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. Tommy, enough dead man been chatting about you, my dear. Thought you might need something to make you feel better, so Auntie Pule make you some stew, eh? Come and check me this kitchen sometime, okay, Tommy? Tommy! Tommy, where you coming back here, Fee? Me tell you we don't want to see you around here no more. Tommy, Umberto Rubina. Hey, how's the cafe? Oh, wonderful. Incredible, Tommy. Incredible. No whims, Tommy. Just real men. And the beautiful women. Anyway, I wanted to tell you, me and Papi, to us, you're Cuban. You have proved yourself, man. You got big cojones. Well, thank you, Umberto. Nobody said that to me since I left jail. See you around. Get to the payphone in Little Havana. Hey, hello, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation oh, over at Printworks. You better go and check it out. I don't know, some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I gotta go. Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the region numb, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, you hear? I always remember those I served with. And I'm sure I can help you out. Here? Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. I had Sonny on the phone, okay? Are you with me? I don't know about you, but there's something about a man threatening to murder my family which really scares the crap out of me. What are you gonna do? Ken, take it easy. I am calm. Calm as a man can be when he's fearing for his life. Stay off the idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am calm. Don't I sound calm? Must be impending death that is doing this to my voice. Tommy, it's Phil. Now cut out all the reminiscent crap and listen to me, you hear? Good. I got me some extra shrink moonshine during fermentation time, and I was wondering if you'd fancy having a shot. Seriously, Tommy. If you like a drink, or if you need to strip paint, this stuff will make a man out of you. Sure did out of me, even though I can't see out of one eye. I'll be waiting for you, you hear? Tommy, it's Phil. I want to thank you for helping me out back there, son. Damn Charlie, he'll always ambush you somewhere or the other. Anyway, the wound is healing well, and it means I'll no longer be defrauding the government on my disability check. Tommy, it's Lance. We got big problems. Come down here right away. 
Gomez, Carlos. How are you? Right, mate. Anyway, thought I had to drop you a line. Oh, my good lord, my son. You will not believe the quality of the brass I just encountered. Streetwalker or something just down in Little Havana, mate. Said her name was Mercedes or something. Oh, my God, mate. You've got to check this bird out. Could strip the lead out of a pencil. Said I was the best you ever had and all. Keep your potato skin fluffy, seeing ya. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez. Que pasa? Things are interesting. How are you, my friend? I wanted to ask you about Mercedes. Okay. What about her? Oh, Tommy. Tommy, I, I, I hear these stories, all these stories. I don't know what to think. Maybe she thinks she can do what she likes. But Tommy, tell me, is it true? Is what true? These stories I hear. She, she, she really going to be a lawyer. Tommy, the shame. The shame. You know, we Cortez are a proud family. We would never allow a daughter of ours to become a lawyer. Please tell me it isn't so. I, I don't think I could take it. Oh, Colonel. Excuse me. I can assure you, Mercedes is never going to become a lawyer. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. The shame would be unbearable. She's a lady, not a parasite, you know? Anyway, Tommy, you must excuse me, all right? The new minister of interior has arrived. Many years ago, I killed his father in a failed coup, so I must be polite. Hey, good day, amigo. Tommy Facetti. How's it going, Mr. Big Shot? I hear all these things about you. Some kind of player in town now, eh? Paul, you're drunk. No, you stupid player. I ain't drunk. I had a couple and some treats. I've been a bit of a couple of days, you know. Anyway, don't give me that. I ain't a mug. Who set you up in this town? Oh, me. That's who. Really? Don't give me that. Don't. I introduced you to people. I showed you the ropes. Did a lot of stuff for you. And this is how you repay me. You ignore me. You don't give me a way in. Or after all that I did for you. What do you think I am, a devil or something? Paul, take it easy. I've been busy. Don't be an idiot. I ain't no idiot, Mush. That's what I said in Boston. You are skip the trouble, son, because you're going to get it. <laughs> Tommy, mate, please. Use me big hope, please. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Paul, get some sleep. Seriously. Tommy, it's Ernest. Ernest Kelly. Hey, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'll need a stick to walk, but I should be back at work soon enough. Good. I heard about Lance. What a little prick, huh? Yes. Never trust a man who walks the streets in his pajamas, that's what I say. Glad you killed him. I hope it was painful for the prick. I think it was. You know, I just didn't think he was like that. Tommy, for a raging lunatic, you're pretty naive. I'll be back at work soon. Teach you a thing or two about life, you hear? Take your time, Ernest. Look after yourself. Tommy, it's Steve. You're a marble. I'm a marble. They love us. We are rewriting the record books, pal. We're talking major awards here. I can put my dad in a home and tell him to shut up. It's hot, man. Hot. H-O-T. He never believed in me. Never thought I was an artist. And now I've made it. I'm the best damn skin flick director of all time, my friend. And I just wanted to say, it's a pleasure to have met you. I love you, baby. Don't you go changing on me, you hear?